Going back to our word test, the picture identification task. So sometimes um, a person might not verbally be able to produce a response. So for adults that might be nonverbal or for children that might have expressive language issues, we would do picture identification tasks. The most common is called the WIPI, the Word Intelligibility by Picture ID. So six pictures, words are all with a within a child's vocabulary, and the child is asked to point to the picture, and then instead of asking to speak the picture. There are other tests too, but the WIPI is the most common. We could also do synthetic sentences if you want to find out more about how well a person is able to converse or you know, hear long speech. This is probably more valid because we speak in full sentences, we don't speak in words, but the word lists are most common. The PB, that phonetically balanced word list that I spoke about before, is the most common test for speech recognition score. There's also sentences. Um, you might want to add noise, background noise. We exist in a noisy world, so uh, to sit in a sound-isolated chamber and hear simple words coming at you, that might not have as much validity. If you want to see how well a person does in a noisy environment, you could add background noise to the word list. If you want to um, see how well a person's doing with their hearing aid, you could add speech in noise competition, and you can manipulate the signal-to-noise ratio. So the higher the signal is over the noise, the easier it is for a person to hear. But if you want to make your speech testing in a more real-world environment, you could add background noise. And the closer you put that background noise to the level of the signal, the more challenging it will be for your patient. There are some tests that are performed in noise, or you could just add that white noise on your own.